Hello, I'm going to take a couple minutes and talk about the uh, Chrysler Ytec, uh, which is their latest software and uh, uh, diagnostic tool and uh, programming tool that the dealerships use. Um, I think, I'm not sure what, when it came out, I want to say 2009 or 2008, I'm not 100% sure, but I finally got mine a little while ago, I've been playing with it, um, but basically it's a PC-based uh, scan tool. It uses what they call um, YTEC VCI pod, vehicle communication interface pod. It has a power light, um, USB cable. It is wireless, but I don't use it. It's got active indicators and also a power indicator. Um, the one that has this good old fashioned DLC plugs into the vehicle and then uh, uses a ethernet cable. I'm not sure if it's a crossover or if it's a regular cable. I never even paid attention. This cable came with a kit, so that's what I use. When you do get the software up and running, you turn it on, and it'll come up with the on uh, these can vehicles. It'll come up with the year, make of the vehicle, uh, or body style of vehicle, battery voltage. Um, it has a legend over here. It'll tell you about all this, which this is basically the network, and it'll show you which computers talk uh, to which ones on how and how they talk. Um, gives you a little bit of help when you're diagnos diagnosing communication problems to find out how the modules communicate. Also on opening screen it'll have any DTCs. For some reason this vehicle has a uh, driver's window control motor or control circuit open. Um, the yellow module over here is the uh, driver's front uh, door module. And let me turn on the key so we stop dinging. up so the battery don't go dead <clears throat> and when you turn everything on these are all the computers that are online here um, if we double click drivers module front left it'll open up that module and it comes up with a whole all the data these are all the data pids for that particular mod module um, you can highlight or should I say check the box on whatever um, data pit you would like to graph so if you want to watch battery voltage and also like uh, let's say uh, door lock switch you highlight those and then up in the right hand corner you click on show graph and it'll actually graph out the data so if I hit the lock and unlock we should see the lock switch go down up um, uh, scroll down a little bit so we can get the rest of this, but that just shows the, This is the actual input. Um, it'll tell you um, if I Exit back out of here one of the things that I'm learning about here is the data type When you're looking at door lock switch, it says the value no request the units It'll tell you but this is a bust line data um some sensors are bust sensor data, some sensors are bust sensor data. The sensors are actually like a direct input. But anytime you have a bust data, it's something that's sent to other modules or uh, a data that's basically serial data or canned data or whatever you want to call it that's sent to the modules, not an actual uh, hard line input. But there's bust inputs, bust data, um, all kinds of stuff like that. On our actuators, this is our click on DTCs. When you click on DTCs, uh, when you're linked up to Chrysler, and you click on the, this button over here, it will give me information when that DTC happened. Um, this uh, is all like the freeze frame data when that DTC was stored. And also if you uh, click on the play button up here, I believe, it should link us right up to service information, which pops up in your Internet Explorer, which will give you this information over here. And it'll op actually open a web page through Chrysler and give you the service information from the factory on how to fix it. Now I got a setting in my computer that's not right, which is allow not allowing the pictures to come up. I got to fix that. But uh, basically, this gives you the flow charts of how to check for that code. Pretty handy. Um, so that's out of here real quick. But back to the main page. Um, 
we're going to go back to the door lock module uh, under actuators you can actually uh, you know change your window state roll your windows up and down um, I don't know if you can hear but the windows going down and then you can roll your window up and all of that um, these are just you click on the different function functions and hit the play button and the window will go up and down <clears throat> under system tests so I don't think there's any system tests for this miscellaneous functions for almost every module you can reset every module um, which put it back to factory configuration to best my mod knowledge also you get the ECU details it'll give you all the part numbers and all that stuff for the module but back to the main page here if we go to the gateway module central gateway module totally integrated power module um, you know there's, it gives you all the data uh, for all the different modules and there's a lot of stuff to look at and I'm be the first one to tell you I'm still learning how to use this tool I've got a chance to program a bunch of cars with it Roy makes uh, programming on newer vehicles I want to say 2006 and newer if they have a, if this is a setup for it you don't have to use DRB3 um, this tool really works really nice um, try and see I'm having a tough time holding the camera and playing with the computer but anyways this is engine data here um, you can go to actuators and you can um, still stuck in there you can control your fuel injectors um, basically all the functions you'll see with any any factory level scan tool I mean you can do all the different tests for different systems um, this is under miscellaneous tests one of the things I use a lot of for uh, this tool is resetting uh, keys and stuff which on almost all Chrysler's is the wireless control module um, basically under miscellaneous functions you can erase all ignition keys program ignition key fobs uh, uh, the WIN is the same as the WCN uh, wireless control module or wireless uh, something node I can't even think of what they call that but there's a bunch of stuff you can do um, just to note to yourself you gotta have a pin code for any of the key functions you can't just go think you can buy this tool and uh, do keys and uh, but there's a lot of tests available and that's about it